Vyakhyatra the creativity of a commentator. Is a commentator a poet or is his job just to comment on the given poetry? In the world of Sanskrit literature, people generally tend to look at different forms of poetry, Padyam, Gadyam or Champuhu. Mahakavyas are the more popular pieces and people know of Raghuvamsham, Kumarasambhavam. Some may even know works like Gyadavabhyudayam, Gangavataranam, Buddha Charitam, etc. These are quite uh, commonly read. But there is a section of literature which is rarely given importance and without which our uh, uh, study of Kavyas is incomplete. This is the commentary literature. My Professor Vrinathan sir would say people have named Pancha Maha Kavyams, but nobody has read all of them completely, except for Malinatha, the commentator. Malinatha is probably the first commentator who has commented on all of these five Kavyas. I'm starting a series on looking at some of these greatest Vyakhyana literature with particular reference to poetic beauty in their words and shlokas that they have composed. We usually look at Mangala Shalokas of Kavyas or Natakas and people quote those quite often, yet never at the shlokas, Mangala Shlokas of the commentators. My inspiration for this series is uh, Sri Soti Nagaraj Mahodaya, who every time starts off his lecture with a beautiful verse. For a long time, I used to wonder who wrote this verse. And then I suddenly find it in Malinatha's commentary. It is his Mangala Shloka for the commentary on Kumarasambhav. Antarayati niropa shantaye shanta pavanam achintya vaibhavam tannaram bapushi kunjaram mukhe manmahe kimapi tundilam maha. The way Mahodaya just recites the Shloka is a treat to watch. But the words, the meaning, and the Alankaras in the Shloka are as comparable to Kalidasa's own work. Antaraya Timira Upashantaye. In order to uh, assuage or remove the darkness of obstacles, Manmahe, we contemplate on that Kimapi uh, Tundilam uh, Mahaha, inexplicable. Kimapi Tundilam Mahaha, a great luster. Tundilam actually means pot belly. Uh, so here we take it as great luster, which is. Shanta Pavanam, calm and uh, pure, sanctified. And that which is Achintya Vaibhavam, whose greatness, Vaibhavam, is Achintyam, is inconceivable. Uh, that is elephant in the face, Mukhe Kunjaram, and human in body, Vapushi Naram. We cannot label this light as either a man or an elephant. And hence, Malinatha uses the Anirvachaniya suggestion in the word. Kimapi Mahaha. This is just a sample of Malinatha's uh, creativity. Vyakhyatra Pratibha. Thank you. And we will be back with another gem of Malinatha next time.